The biggest brand new feature coming to Black Ops 6 is zombies are augments. Now there's a total of 108 augments that will be available. Every single one is different from the other. These can be applied to perka colas, field upgrades, as well as energy mines. So just to recap, augments are unlockable gameplay advantages. You can apply to every perk, every ammo mod, field upgrade in the game that will usually adjust and alter their effects. So depending on the level of augment that you put, it can completely alter something. So Perka Colas, there's a total of eight. Each will have a total of six augments, giving a total of 48 augments. Ammo mods will have, there's a total of five in the game. Each will get six augments, giving it a total of 30 augments. Field upgrades, there's a total of five, and then you get six augments for each one, giving you a total of 30. So that means there's over 100 augments available for you to use in the game. Now here's how you collect them. It says researching and choosing augments. The augment research, the key to unlocking the full potential of your loadout is augment research. This unlocks, once you reach player level 11, you will unlock this HUD right here here where it says field upgrades augment and then you're able to go into each particular area and actually apply the augment so it says once you research and unlock individual augments they can be chosen before the start of a match for each individual perk ammo mod or field upgrade to start researching an augment simply select which item you'd like to research in the menu and start earning xp in game to make progress towards unlocking the augment so there's like a bar you have to fill with xp each item has two available augment slots one for major and one for minor augments expect three major augments to choose from per item a major augment offers a substantial advantage to the behavior of the item usually during use expect three minor augments to choose from per item a minor augment offers a limited advantage to the item usually during use they provide another photo of the augments for juggernaut and this is the photo that you see here it says the depths of augment customized experience becomes apparent as you learn the different effects of each augment and how they stack and affect other upgrades across the game this subsequent allows you to customize your augments for your style of play whether solo or squad based if you've played a particular role in your squad as a healer for example you may already have a good idea of which augments you should search for unlock and employ along with other related power-ups to optimize your team's dynamic and survivability now they go on to showcase all the perka colas and augments for these so first off you have all eight of these perks being showcased here they said if you're after a tasty beverage you can also benefit and get abilities to help aid you you guys already know what perks are so i won't really go over them again but here are the photos being provided and then they said perks are purchased in game using essence and have been designed to offer a wide variety of bonuses that suit your style of play allowing you to choose the order and number you need each time you purchase a new perk the essence cost increases and your perk collection displayed along the bottom of your hud lasts as long as you do if you're down expect to lose perks depending on how many you've obtained and how long you've been down for and here's a screenshot of all the perk machines that are going to be available. I won't read every single one of them, but you can feel free to pause here. Then we go on to the perk of Cola Augment. So now they're showcasing Juggernaut, which usually increases max health. Once you use an Augment on it, the major one is Probiotic. Slightly increased maximum health with Juggernaut. Turtle Shell Armor acts as a shield on your back, completely absorbing damage to your back. No damage mitigation when hit from the front. Reactive armor, when an armor plate breaks, nearby normal enemies are stunned for a short time. So that's what the major augments do on top of the juggernaut extra health benefits. Then the minor augments deal bonus damage with health is low. Hardened plates, armor plates have more damage mitigation and durable plates slightly increase armor durability. Now here's what they do for stamina up. The major augments are free faller, become immune to fall damage, Dasher increased tactical sprint duration and stalker walk faster while aiming. The minor augments for this is going to be hard target while tactical sprinting projectile damage is reduced. Quarterback use equipment while sprinting and hot foot gain a speed boost after your equipment kills an enemy. And if you don't know what stamina up is, it increases your movement speed. The next one that we have is speed cola. So you reload weapons and replay armor faster. That's what the default version of speed cola does. Then you can add these augments. So major supercharge. Field upgrades recharge faster. Classic formula reload speed is even faster. And then phantom reload weapon magazines are slowly refilled over time. For speed cola, the minor augments are speedy roulette. The mystery box settles much faster. Quick swap, swap weapons faster. And fast pitcher deploy and equipment faster. Then you have deadshot daiquiri. It, by default, you drink to improve ADS precision and increase critical damage. But then when you put on the augments, dead head, which is further increase in critical damage. Dead first, deal double critical damage if an enemy is at full health dead again critical hits have a chance of adding a bullet to your magazine then you have the minor augments dead break increase damage to armor pieces dead draw reduce hip fire spread 
dead set, reduce gun movement while performing advanced movement. And then we go on to quick revive, recover health, and revive allies faster. The perks are EMT, reviving an ally allows them to keep all perks on their bleed out bar. Equivalent exchange, killing an enemy while down will revive you and remove quick revive. This can be done up to three times. Dying wish on lethal damage, become immune to all damage for two seconds and keep one health. Quick revive is removed from use. Minor augment, swift recovery, reviving an ally, increases both your movement speeds for short time. Karmic return, reviving an ally, heals you to full health and slow death, increase your time in last stand. Now we jump into elemental pop. Attacks can trigger random ammo mods. So the major augment, critical focus, if a weapon has an ammo mod applied, elemental pop will only activate that one. Imperial peach, enemies that hit you have a chance to trigger a random ammo mod. Electric cherry, reloading creates an electric damage discharge that damages and stuns nearby normal enemies. The emptier the magazine, the stronger the damage. Minor augments, vulnera being slightly increase enemy elemental weakness damage Pineapple Blast Equip can also trigger a random ammo mod, and Chillberry slightly reduce all ammo mod cooldowns. For PhD Flopper, Explosive Dive to Prone and Immunity to Self-Inflicted Explosive Damage, that's what it usually does. The major augments are Gravity MD, Just Falling from Heights creates Explosions, or Ram, Tactical Sprint knocks down and damages base zombies, PhD Slider sliding into enemies triggers explosions. The minor augments are Environmentalist, become immune to environmental damage while sliding, EOD Technician, slightly reduce height and distance requirements for explosion tribiologist sliding distance and speed are increased now for melee macchiato which is the new one replace a weapon gun butt with a deadly punch the major augments are espresso all melee attacks are slightly faster vampiric extraction melee attacks heal a small amount of your health Triple shot, your punch can hit multiple enemies at once. The minor augment is stick and move. Backpedal speed is increased after a successful melee attack. Strength training, your punch can one hit normal enemies for longer. And hidden impact, melee kills reload a portion of your held weapon and then they provide a photo of that now we jump into the augments for ammo mods so there's a total of five different ammo mods that are going to be available the first one that we have is called the brain rod unlocked at level 27 bullets deal toxic damage each bullet has a chance of temporarily turning a normal or special enemy into an ally the augments for this are the major ones are plague the charmed enemy has a chance to turn other enemies Pheromone, the charged enemy distracts nearby normal or special zombies for a short time. Big game, brain rot can charm elite enemies. Minor augments are extension, brain rot duration is slightly increased. Haste, brain rot cooldown is slightly reduced. And explosive, charmed enemies explode at the end of brain rot's duration, dealing toxic damage. Then you have cryo freeze, available unlocked at player level 14. Bullets deal frost damage, each bullet has a chance to slow a normal or special enemy and increase the damage they receive. Major Augments, big game, cryo freeze can slow elite enemies. Ice cloud enemies that are killed while frozen may leave a cloud that slows enemies. Frozen stiff enemies are frozen in place. And the minor augments are extension, slightly increased to slow duration. Freezer burn, slightly increased damage to frozen enemies. And liquid nitrogen, significantly increased your chance for cryo freeze to activate. Dead wire, available unlocked immediately. Bullets deal electric damage. Each bullet has a chance to stun a normal or special zombie, causing them to generate an electrical damage field. The major augments are Chain Lightning, the stun enemy can spread the stun to others, Big Game, Dead Wire can stun elite enemies, Lightning Strike, a bolt of lightning strikes from above stunning all normal and special zombies in the area, Minor Augments, High Voltage, Dead Wire deals slightly more damage, Haste, Dead Wire cooldown is slightly reduced, and Extension, the stun and electrical field lasts longer. Then you have Napalm Burst, available at level 6. Bullets can deal fire damage. Each bullet has a chance to apply a burn effect on normal and special zombies, dealing damage over time. The major augments are big game. Napalm burst can burn elite enemies. Thermite increase burn effect damage. Firebomb burn enemies explode on death, spreading the fire to nearby enemies. You have minor augments extension increase the burn duration. Incendiary each damage ticks as a small chance to spread to a nearby enemy. Contact burn initial burn effect deals more damage. Then you have shadow rift available at level 44. Bullets deal shadow damage. Each bullet has a chance to spawn a black hole on a normal or special enemy, warping away those nearby and dropping some from the air at lethal speed. The major augments is big game. Shadow Rift can activate on elite enemies. Top of danger, warp one enemy that deals shadow damage to others. Explosive rain, enemies that are dropped from the portals will explode on contact with the ground. Minor augments, haste, shadow rift cooldown is reduced. Targeted dropped enemies will fall on other enemies and super massive. The singularity's lethal radius is increased and can kill more enemies. And now for the last section are the field upgrades. So you have five field upgrades available. This is the photo that they provided.
inside here. The very first one is Ether Shroud, available at level 47. Phase into the Dark Ether and become temporarily hidden from enemy detection. The major augments are Group Shroud, so nearby players are also cloaked. Burst Dash, warp forward to a short distance, killing all normal enemies in your path. Void Sheath, swap to your dedicated melee weapon as it's imbued with Dark Ether energy. Kills allow you to stay in the Ether Shroud for longer. Minor Augments, instant reload, activation instantly re reloads your currently held weapon. Extra Charge, increase max charges by one. And Extension Ether Shroud duration is significantly increased. Then you have Dark Flare, available at level 20. Generate an energy beam that deals lethal shadow damage and penetrates everything in the path. The major augments are extension, significantly increases dark flare duration. Supernova, the beam is replaced with a sphere that damages nearby enemies as it travels. The ball detonates at the end of dark flare's duration and dark packed beam heals and revives other players on contact. The minor augments for this are broad beam, significantly increases the size of the beam, heavy shadow, the beam slows enemies on contact, and extra charge increase max charges by one. You also have frenzied guard, available at level nine, repair armor to full and force all enemies in the area to, to temporarily target you. Armor takes all damage during that time, and it says the major augments are phalanx, Teammates can now also repair armor from kills while near you. Retribution triggers an explosion on activation. Normal enemies that melee the player are damaged and knocked down. Frenzy fire while frenzied use ammo from stock. The minor augments are repair boost, repair more armor per kill. Extension, increase frenzied guard duration. Rally on activation, repair all nearby teammates armor to full. Then you have healing aura available at level 33. Heal all nearby players immediately. And the major augments are resilience. All affected players have their health regeneration delay reduced and the rate of healing increased temporarily. And during radiance, the beams and their healing effects persistence for a short time. After leaving the area of effect, persistence revive players keep all perks on their bleed out bar minor augments inner strength affected player damage is slightly increased for a short time protection healed players have damage slightly mitigated for a short time and stoic presence on activation special and elite zombies are stunned while normal enemies are knocked down then we have energy mine which is the last one available unlocked immediately create a mine of pure energy that detonates three times dealing lethal electric damage major is scatter the energy mine will split into three mines that scatter and detonate one time each Turret, instead of a mine, deploy a turret that shoots at the nearest enemy. Carousel, three energy mines will float around you, detonating when an enemy is nearby. Minor augments, frequency boost, increase detonation count and duration of energy mine. Extra charge, increase max charges by one. Siren, energy mine now attracts nearby normal enemies for a short time. So this is every single augment that is going to be available here within zombies. There's a lot more information, so I'll keep you guys updated and I'll have more videos for zombies as we go on. But these are all the augments available that you can use at the first day of launch for Black Ops 6. But that's all they got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace.